What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be taking a look at Fallout 76 on the Steam Deck, both for Steam OS and a little bit of Windows 11 as well. I've been watching this show like probably a lot of you and have been jumping into some Fallout games. Now Fallout 76 is one that I kind of walked away from after launch and just recently in the past week or so got back into it and have been checking it out. And wanted to see performance here on the handhelds, starting with the Steam Deck. So as far as settings, I settled for now just on a medium preset to show some performance here at 800p borderless windowed. There's definitely some room to tweak a little bit of that if you want to. I didn't get much difference though between the low or medium preset, so I just kind of went with this to see what it would look like. Going into the normal adventure mode here with my character who is level 22 at the moment, I'm really just in the beginning areas of the game and just kind of teleporting around and, and messing around with performance and seeing what things look like as I bounce around. I'm really happy that we do have a third person perspective option here. This is how I prefer to play the games is for some reason I get a lot of motion sickness sometimes and whatever with some of those first person views, but I really like the option here. And as far as performance, sometimes we'll see a difference between the two in some of these games. But for Fallout 76 so far, I haven't really seen any performance differences, uh, whether I be third person or first person. So the rest of this video will be in third person. This is how I prefer to play the game. But as far as performance goes for you, whichever way you go with, it really doesn't seem to make much difference. Now, for the most part, we get the game between 30 and 60 FPS, completely depending on where we're at and what we're doing. But it does look really good here on the Steam Deck and runs quite well on Steam OS. I didn't have to do any fixing or workarounds or anything either. The game isn't verified but it ran just fine and besides the medium preset 800p i am running the four gigabytes of vram set in the bios and the game does seem to want to eat up vram you might again want to adjust down some of the texture quality or mess around with some settings but again as i went from the presets low to medium not a really really big difference uh, there for the most part gameplay stays pretty smooth here on the steam deck including frame times you're going to have dips and issues in areas but you could lock this to a 30 fps or lock it to a 40 and let it vary sometimes when it dips be, uh, under there or whatever you might want to do there's lots of kind of stuff you can do here to optimize your battery life or if you want just a smooth frame time at 30 or something like that i think you can pull that off pretty easily here on the deck now if you're jumping in a group full of people because of the online aspects and maybe getting into a lot of that you might see some performance reduction like in hell divers we can see quite a bit of performance reduction when we go from solo play to group play but that's something i haven't really messed with much here yet on the steam deck i kind of just like playing this game solo running around and just discovering stuff and seeing what's going on here now there are areas that'll run worse than others and really dip down into the 20s the frame times will get goofy but seems to be around some of these quest instance areas uh and stuff like that and how busy things are it's just sometimes there's nothing even around in these areas will just exist so maybe we're between zones or or other things that might be happening but we can certainly see some performance variations but for the most part 30 to 50 30 to 55 fps seems to be the experience i'm able to get here at a fallout 76 on steam deck on steam os now i did test this out on windows 11 a bit to see what it would do exact same settings still four gigs of vram and uh it does run pretty well it stays quite playable but the thing is, on this one, some games do run better on Windows, but a lot of them, most of them run better on SteamOS these days when it comes to this. Um, and Fallout 76 is no exception. It does run lower FPS on average versus the Steam Deck on SteamOS. And this area around here where we were dipping on the uh, Steam Deck on SteamOS, we're dipping even more here on windows and i'll hit the 20s more often here than i do definitely over on SteamOS with the same settings anyways so that's just something to keep in mind if you are someone who enjoys windows on the steam deck and you're going to play fallout 76 adjust the settings some more as well but you're really not going to pull much more out of this again same thing here on windows between low and medium i really didn't get much of any difference this is just how the game wanted to run and in this area where i could still get like 30 to 38 fps it was down in on steam os it was down in the 20s and sometimes teens pretty consistently on windows and of course i did some fast travel went to some other areas away from that spot that gets kind of rough and on average i would get 30 to 40 fps versus some of the higher stuff i might get on steam os again most of the time frame times are pretty good the game stays plenty playable on windows except for those few areas i've run into teleporting around where we go into the teens and 20s um but yeah if you're playing on windows on deck not as good as steam os right now for fallout 76 but definitely playable no crashes for me or any major issues so that was good to see and i always like to see what the difference is between uh windows 11 and steam os of course steam os is the heart and soul of the steam deck and it's what i prefer Fur on the deck really but i do enjoy testing out windows and just seeing what performance is like but this is pretty much what we're looking like 
when it comes to Windows 11 here for the Steam Deck. All right, guys, so I think we'll just wrap it up there. A pretty quick look at Fallout 76 on the Steam Deck, both for SteamOS and for Windows 11. Uh, you should be fine on either one, but definitely running better over on SteamOS. And I know I'm having a lot of fun jumping back into 76. This game has changed a lot, and I think I'm going to spend some more time with it, finish the last couple episodes of the show, and then get ready to go back to Fallout 4 when that update drops. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video, as always, and I'll see you in the next one.